Hey, you don't get to dictate nothing, nigga. I'm trying to get understanding. Well, I ain't trying to get understanding or give understanding, bitch ass nigga. If you can't take what I took, nigga, then fuck you. Crash out. Send somebody to crash out, bitch ass nigga. Who would, nigga? You ain't no comedian. Okay, if I ain't no comedian, nigga, then handle it like I ain't no comedian, then, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, deal with me like I ain't no comedian. If I ain't no comedian, yeah, that's what I told T.I., bitch ass nigga. Yeah, nigga. You ain't dictating nothing. Not this conversation, nigga. I'm the big dog talking, nigga. You the one trying to get understanding, right, daddy? Well, guess what, bitch ass nigga? I ain't trying to get down or give a nigga one, so fuck you and your pussy, chill. That's exactly what I just told a nigga while on the phone. Now get on there and tell him that, nigga. Get on there and tell him that, nigga. I ain't scared of now one of you rap niggas think you're tough. Send somebody to crash out. I already got reports on you. You ain't got no family members or nobody that'll crash out. And you ain't never want to fight, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I done already pulled your resume, Clifford. And whoever that nigga was you had on the phone trying to tell me I ain't no comedian, bitch ass nigga, I get paid $10,000 for a set, nigga. Now, can motherfucker, can you buy that? Yeah, I might be the police. And guess what? They asked me, man, you gonna put Tip Son in jail? I said, no, nah, I ain't gonna get him. I ain't gonna get him. When I stepped to his bitch ass daddy, he ain't have all that tough shit in his voice, nigga. You ain't no millionaire, nigga, ready to crash out and go to no motherfucking me. 23 hour lockdown, nigga. Taking that motherfucking covert vaccination shot in prison or in jail, nigga. Stop talking tough trying to sell that shit to the people, nigga. You a straight up pussy, nigga. When your homeboy Phil, for Phileo got killed, nigga, your bitch ass got on the stand, nigga. Went to buying guns. Oh, I'm a buying gun, cause I was scared. Nigga, I got them same goddamn guns, nigga. And I ain't buying cause I was scared. I buy them because I like them, and I can legally buy them and carry them, nigga. I don't give a fuck about you, whoever that bitch-ass nigga you had on the phone with you, or your little ugly-ass 18-year-old grown-ass son. He ain't no motherfucking kid, nigga. Dope fiend-ass boy. That's a grown-ass 18-year-old boy that'll get a life sentence or a death sentence, nigga. Fuck you talking about. He ain't no motherfucking kid. Fuck you talking about. That motherfucker sent a threat to me, and you should be talking to that little stupid bitch, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. And fuck how whoever feel about what I'm saying, nigga. Come throw your life away about it, nigga. Because I'm going to get rich off of it. They going to want to have interviews, nigga. You goddamn right I got a motherfucking phone conversation with T.I. Talking about, oh, nigga, you a nigga, please. All them motherfucking accusations of where you drug little girls, nigga. You trying to call me a predator, nigga. And you got over 13, 14 girls, teenage girls. Say you sticking your foot in they pussy. You sick-minded ass rapping, nigga. You sick in your motherfucking mind. So, nigga, I've been working with kids for over 12 years, and I ain't never been accused of no predatory statements like that. But you have. You and your bitch, nigga. You and your bitch been accused, nigga, of violating the girl, nigga. Giving them ecstasy pills. Sticking your nine and a half long foot off in they pussies, nigga. Feet don't go in pussies. Sick-minded ass rapping, nigga. You and your bitch got caught with a hundred X pills. It's the motherfucking me L.A. shit that time. Nigga, you know you remember? Don't try, to, don't try to talk like you some hellified motherfucking me, upstanding motherfucking citizen, nigga. When you rid of the motherfucking predatory pervert, it's documents on you, boy. It ain't none on me, nigga. You beside your motherfucking self. You and your freak-looking ass, baby. DeMonte just went on motherfucking earth uh, the other day, said he going to jail. I ought to send him, but I ain't going to send him. He going to send his goddamn self, nigga, you pervert-ass rapper. You pervert ass rapper. All them little girls say y'all were giving them drugs, sticking drugs in they pussies. Nigga putting them in that boosie, talking booty hole, put the X pills in their booty hole, talking. That's you and them boys. Y'all been violating little girls for a long time, nigga. Now all of a sudden you want to talk to a real community activist, a nigga who really is a youth advocate, nigga. Your boy is talk to that stupid ass son of yours, nigga. You and your woman, nigga, just had an accusation. Just because they cleared it don't mean it didn't happen, boy. Many young girls accuse you and Tiny, nigga. Tiny habit of finger fucking sucking, fucking and humping and pumping and bumping. Remember Pussy Pumper number one? You call yourself? You sang in a song? Pussy Pumper number one? You were pussy pumping them little girls on them drugs, nigga. You been accused of that, not me. So don't you ever fix your herpes. Remember that bump on side your goddamn mouth, nigga? That herpes mouth of yours, nigga. That herpes bump infested mouth of yours that get that bump on the side on the top, nigga. You know what I'm talking about. Nigga, that mouth right there, don't you ever fix it, nigga. To ever say, I'm a goddamn predator, nigga, and you've been accused of those type of things in your lifetime. Not me, brother. Not me, brother. Fuck you. And fuck what you stand for, nigga. I didn't know that was your goddamn restaurant when I came to that motherfucker, nigga. My people brought me there. But, nigga, we got right up out of there when we found it was yours. And guess what, nigga? I'm sparing your son. I'm sparing your son. Because I talked to the gang unit. And I said, nah, man, I ain't gonna get that little boy. He just talking. Saying they go jump me. Him and his gang. T.I., I can get him put in that motherfucking jail house with no bond, nigga. But only the strong can show compassion for the weak, nigga. And you and your boy weak, nigga. So I'm gonna show y'all some compassion.
I ain't gonna do him like that. He got his whole life ahead of him. Got his whole motherfucking life ahead of him, nigga. It look like you behind him to fail. You ain't in front of him leading. You ain't in front of him leading, nigga. Ain't no way in the way my boy go behave like that. My boy the same age as your boy. My boy be 19 in a couple more weeks, nigga. But no motherfucking way in the world he gonna be publicly displaying this shame behavior, nigga. I done already done it, so he ain't got to do it. Fuck he doing what I done already... Nigga, that's where you're failing it, nigga. That's where you're failing it. You in Boosie. And we can't speak on it? You go, we can't speak on you celebrities now? Is that what it is? We can't speak on Jay-Z, we can't speak on Tyler Perry, we can't speak on y'all ugly kids and we think they ugly or y'all gonna hurt us now, huh? Well, I'm willing to be hurt for it, nigga. And I ain't got no police with me, nigga. But when I'm in Atlanta, I got some friends that hang with me and kick it with me that just so happen to be the police. <laughs> Businessman, huh? That you took time to listen to me and what I'm saying. Your woman calling you. Nigga, women can't dictate when I go to the battlefield. My mama, my sister, my woman, my daughter, they don't dictate to me, nigga, when the drums start beating and I go to the battlefield. Because they talking about my little old spoiled-ass son. Because my spoiled-ass son going to jail and it's public. It's public. His behavior is public. I can't go after every nigga speaking on my son, mama. They want you to crash out. They putting a the key in your back. You must not be the leader, boy. My mama ain't even online. My woman ain't even online, nigga. Well, they can even hear what a nigga saying. Check your household, Clifford. Because they listening to what another man saying, boy. <laughs> Not mine. Not mine, boy. I don't know what kind of nigga you nigga is. I'm the captain of my motherfucking ship. And if I catch my bitch, my mama, my sister, and my daughter coming back to me by what another man said, and he ain't said to them directly, I'm checking house and paper. That's what a man do, son. Man don't go run out to the motherfucker. That's how that boy got killed in the Godfather. Clifford. <laughs> and you ain't Clifford the big red dog. You look Clifford. The little yellow T.I. rapping motherfucker. 